Carlisle Indian Industrial School. In the belly of Pennsylvania, in a town named Carlisle, there stood a place that reeked of broken promises and stolen heritage, the Carlisle Indian Industrial School, a testament to Uncle Sam's grand idea of shoving Native American kids through the ringer of assimilation. Captain Pratt, a man with a penchant for erasing traditions, birthed this institution in 1879, claiming education was the magic wand for making Indians talk, walk, and dream like white folk. A boarding school, not unlike a prison, where the wardens wore suits instead of uniforms and the inmates were innocent souls robbed of their roots. The government's playbook dictated strict rules, enforced uniformity, and a brutal cultural strip tease. You'd think you stepped into a factory, but it was more like a soul-crushing mill. At Carlisle, they didn't just teach lessons, they erased whole identities. Native tongues were silenced, dances forbidden, and spiritual beliefs trampled like weeds. The air reeked of suffering, and tales whispered of physical and emotional lashings. Mortality clung to the place like a stubborn odor, claiming the young and hopeful. Yet, the suits deemed it a success, proudly patting themselves for ripping away bits of humanity from those they considered savages. Sure, there were cheerleaders for this cultural slaughter. They argued that the end game was prosperity and societal blending. But look beyond the surface and you'll find devastation. The economic opportunities promised were smoke and mirrors, and the price paid was the very soul of a people. The grand experiment left Native American communities gasping for breath as their traditions crumbled like old parchment. The scars of Carlisle run deep, etched into the DNA of generations. The snuffed out fires of indigenous culture still cast shadows on today's landscape. Forced assimilation left an indelible mark on Native American communities, a scar that throbs with the pain of lost identity. The numbers dwindled, the stories faded, and the threads connecting generations snapped. Looking ahead to the present moment, the lingering resonance of Carlisle remains palpable. The historical narrative of this locale serves as a poignant testament to the enduring systemic inequities endured by indigenous communities. It functions as a reflective surface, compelling society to acknowledge and grapple with the haunting specters of its history. The imperative of cultural sensitivity transcends mere rhetoric, it is an essential requirement. The rights of indigenous peoples are not up for negotiation, they stand as unequivocal imperatives. The Carlisle Indian Industrial School is a grim lesson, a chapter soaked in the blood and tears of a people fighting to hold onto their essence. To turn away from this history is to perpetuate the injustice. It's a plea to recognize the wrongs, acknowledge the pain, and pave a road to redemption. So, let Carlisle stand as a haunted monument, a stark reminder etched in the nation's consciousness. Learn its lessons, lest we be condemned to repeat its sins. The echoes of forced assimilation may linger, but we can dull their resonance through understanding, empathy, and rectification. So, you've subjected yourself to a portion of the RPTN podcast. We'll pretend that our attempts at humor actually worked and triggered some odd spasms you might call laughter. If, by some inexplicable twist of fate, you found this clip mildly less torturous than anticipated, consider bestowing upon us the sacred thumbs up gesture. Oh, and there's that ominous subscribe button too, a click that seals your fate, ensuring you'll be relentlessly bombarded with our future endeavors to perplex and bewilder.